Uh, our next speaker is Thomas Bowens, who recently joined as an assistant professor at the Department of Business Society Management here at the Rotterdam School of Management. And he will give a talk on the scaling of community enterprises. So, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, Tina, and the team for organizing such a, such a wonderful event. Um, right, yeah. Um, yeah, this is me. And um, today, uh, I will be telling you about the challenges and the promises of scaling the, sustainable, the societal impact of community enterprises for sustainability. So how many among you are part, are a member of an energy cooperative? I'm just curious. Okay, so quite, quite a, a, a few of you. Uh, did you know that in Germany, over 40% of the installed renewable energy capacity is owned by citizens and communities, compared to a mere 6% by large corporations? Across Europe, no uh, less than 8,000 energy communities uh, are gathering um, 2 million citizens and counting. These figures demonstrate the capacity of local communities to tackle large-scale sustainability challenges such as global warming. They can also contribute to building a, a post-growth economy and an alternative to capitalism, as Professor Van Stavern uh, explained in her talk. And yet, they, their role have, has largely been neglected in policy and social science so far because the current thinking is that these sustainability challenges are best tackled by the state and market firms alone. So, how to unlock the full transformative potential of communities? Community enterprises are here pivotal. Community enterprises are um, enterprises collectively founded, owned and controlled by the members of a local community, which pursue economic, social, environmental, and political goals. Uh, yeah. uh, so the, the local conditions for, um, uh, for community enterprises to foster sustainability locally have already been extensively studied. What is far less understood, however, is how community enterprises can scale their societal in impact beyond the local and achieve wider transformative change. Um, so community enterprises can scale their societal impact in different ways. Scaling up or uh, increasing the, 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 the number of members in one single organization. So here an example is given by EcoPower, a, a Flemish renewable energy cooperative that was started by a handful green activists and that today counts over 60,000 uh, members. Uh, scaling across or replicating similar organizations in different geographical areas. And here the, the, um, the example is the uh, Repair Café movement. The, first, the very first Repair Café was created uh, in Amsterdam in 2009. And since then, the model was replicated in countless towns and cities over the world. There are today over 2,500 Repair Cafés all over the world. Scaling out uh, or diversifying the uh, services offered to members. Uh, the, the, the example here is Beauvant, another Flemish renewable energy cooperative that started, started by producing uh, a, a renewable energy, but then uh, diversified its business model uh, to provide energy efficiency services to its uh, members. Um, Scaling deep or engaging in advocacy work to change the broader institutional context. And here uh, the example is Comon, uh, a cooperative engaged in the production of sustainable electronics, which also uh, does advocacy for a compulsory repairability a label for electronic devices. Now, when you look at scaling strategies and the types of strategies chosen by community enterprises and the, the, the level of success of scaling, you have to uh, consider different factors. The first factor is the uh, tensions between 
competing institutional logics while scaling and the mechanisms to manage them. So take again the example of EcoPower in Flanders. Um, EcoPower uh, uh, was initially rooted in a community logic characterized by voluntary resources, flat hierarchy and strong community feelings among members. But when it started scaling up, it had to mobilize a market logic to acquire commercial resources and to uh, um, uh, introduce hierarchical management in its organization. Um, now, the, these tensions between institutional logics, if they are not well managed, they can be a threat to community enterprises survival because financial considerations may squeeze out uh, the uh, uh, societal missions of community enterprises and the hierarchical management uh, can crowd out community feelings. So in a paper uh, written with uh, colleagues Stanley Vaskelainen and Kuhn Franken, uh, we, dem we demonstrate that collaboration Collaborations between different community enterprises can be critical to manage such tensions. And in particular, the creation of umbrella organizations such as the European Federation of Renewable Energy Cooperatives or the German Federation of Community Car Sharing um, can act as guarantor of community values and mitigate the risks linked to uh, these tensions between institutional logics. The second factor uh, which influences the, the type and the success of scaling strategies is legitimacy. An organization is legitimate when it is perceived and its actions are perceived by other actors as appropriate. Sometimes community enterprises lack legitimacy because, for example, the public uh, doesn't know about it, uh, their legal forms, uh, they are not aware of their uh, social or economic benefits, or uh, they um, uh, perceive them as uh, not sufficiently uh, professionalized. Um, but legitimacy is actually critical. Uh, yeah, it's going a bit uh, ahead of me, but uh, uh, legitim legitimacy is critical for scaling because it enables community enterprises to uh, obtain the necessary resources from stakeholders and the support uh, to scale. So in a study done with uh, colleagues Matthijs Punt, Kuhn Franken and Lars Olstenkamp, we demonstrate the critical role of uh, legitimacy in the local diffusion of uh, renewable energy corps in Germany. So to give you an idea of the phenomenon we studied here, you can see the local diffusion of, of energy corps in, in Germany over time. Uh, so we showed in this study that the local presence of cooperatives in other industries supported the founding of renewable energy cooperatives. So this is because in regions where more cooperatives are present, people are more likely to be familiar with the cooperative model. They are aware of the multiple social and economic benefits of, of these cooperatives. So in other words, renewable energy co-ops benefited from the legitimacy of the cooperative model in other sectors. And specifically, uh, we show that the local presence of cooperative banks had a positive effect on the creation of solar energy cooperatives, because obviously cooperative banks are familiar with the legal details of the, of the cooperative form, and they are more likely to financially support uh, the founding of renewable energy corps. So such types of legitimacy spillovers across sectors uh, turn out to be more important than other factors, such as climatic conditions, to explain the creation of renewable energy uh, cooperatives. Um, this result also highlights uh, the success, that the success of the cooperative cannot be uh, considered in isolation. The interactions with the local context matter and uh, cooperatives are most successful when they run in packs and form industrial or regional clusters. The third factor affecting the type and success of scaling strategies of community enterprises is social network. Uh, these include social connections among the members of the same community, uh, so-called bonding social networks, and the connections between the members of different communities, so-called bridging social networks. 
My, uh, um, well, the bonding and bridging social networks provide the social foundation to scale because they facilitate the uh, mobilization of resources, the recruitment of new members and the coordination of actions between different community enterprises. Uh, my latest work in this area, in collaboration with sociologists at Utrecht University and based on social media data, examined the roles of different types of social networks in explaining the creation of renewable energy cooperatives in Dutch municipalities. So here you have the, the map of the number of energy co-ops uh, across Dutch municipalities. We expected to find a positive effect of both bonding and bridging social networks. Um, but actually we found that uh, bonding social networks indeed have uh, a, a, an important uh, role in explaining the founding of renewable energy cooperatives at the municipal level, but we did not find any effect uh, for bridging social networks. So this means that through their collective actions, renewable energy cooperatives built on uh, local social relationships within municipalities, but not on relationships uh, across different municipalities. And this uh, result is important because it might explain why community enterprises sometimes struggle to uh, build uh, cross-initiative strategic capabilities and collaborations. Well, what I presented here are just first uh, results, but there is still a lot more to be understood about this topic. And to that end, I have recently been awarded a 1.5 million euro starting grant from the European uh, Research Council for my research project, uh, Census. So the overarching goal of Census is to develop a unified novel interdisciplinary theory of the mechanisms through which community enterprises can scale their societal Im impact. So census will focus on the dimensions I, I talked about during this talk. To achieve these goals, um, census uh, will study three forms of community enterprises, community energy, community car sharing and community repair in four countries, France, the Netherlands, the UK and Germany. Census aspires to change the current thinking about the state and market as the dominant dichotomy uh, that uh, prevails in, in society to build institutions and organizations. And uh, hopefully the, the project will also contribute to emerging perspectives on post-growth economy and alternatives to capitalism. Um, it will uh, provide concrete recommendations for community entrepreneurs to scale their societal impact and formulate evidence-based policies for policymakers to support networks of community enterprises. So um, I will be uh, looking very soon for talented uh, researchers and uh, reaching out to community enterprises. So stay tuned and uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, thank you so much for your attention.